Short, mate. Good old England weather. It was pissing down with rain before. Now the sun's out. It's warm. A lot of puddles. The ground's wet. Oh, back to a, do a session now at Liverpool Cricket Club. Hopefully the wickets aren't too wet. Shut. One there. Good. Shot, mate. So that ball you probably should be looking to score off. Okay. Like that. Dropping it either in there or in there. Okay. So that like it just rolls off with enough pace that the keeper sort of can't get in it. Sure. But also not hard enough that the fielder can get it. So you're just trying to like turn I reckon you can look to turn your defence into a scoring option. Okay. <clears throat> Lovely shot. I think I think you overstride sometimes. Okay. And then it sort of makes you your weight sit back. Sure. Okay. So I think just be conscious and mindful to try and maybe keep your foot a bit closer. Okay, sure. That will allow you to then get your head and weight get forward. Over the ball. Okay. Get over the ball. That one there you were really good. I okay. think that was pretty good. Some of the others you've just been a bit back here okay. and then you, you play with your hands out in front rather than letting it come and using your shape. Sure. Okay. Yeah? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I think like there's a great story of, I think, um, Queensland are playing Western Australia in the 70s or something and uh, Western Australia got bowled out for 70 or something and then there was like, um, everyone was heads down and like, fuck, we've had a stink career, blah, blah. Dennis Lilly was playing for Western Australia, was stormed in the change room and said, you blokes catch him, I'm getting him out and we're winning this game. And they, he just stormed out of the change room, wasn't captain or anything, the captain didn't get a chance to say anything, grabbed the ball, knocked him over for 60 and they won the game. But it was his belief and he brought that to the whole team. Like everyone went from this to like, oh shit, DK's on here, let's, let's get out there and do it. So like, I think one individual can then... No, so that's like unrealistic. But it doesn't matter. And if you haven't done it, no one's going to go, it's his fault. Exactly. And if you fail trying to do it, at least you've given yourself a chance. Like, But if you just sort of sit there and go, I can't do it, I can't do it, you'll never do it. But if you believe you can do it, maybe one in ten times you do it. That's one more than you wouldn't if you didn't believe it was possible. Hey vlog, so the talk is over. The first of our three mental peak performance presentations at Liverpool Cricket Club. Went really well, there was about 20 people there, so a good little turnout. Um, I hope one day to, to grow these sort of talks to hundreds of people or even thousands, but for our first one, um, I was really pleased with that. Will and I are now in a Turkish restaurant, about to have a big feed. It's about 9.30, what, what's so cool about um, England is places are open a lot later than they are in Australia, so hopefully we'll uh, have a nice dinner and then, uh, Another big day tomorrow. Look at this bad boy that has just been served up. How are you feeling about this, Will? Oh, I don't know if I can handle this much. <laughs> this looks incredible. Yeah. We've just had a great chat with one of the Turkish men here who's an absolute hero. 